Hello, welcome to another video of Abigia History Videos, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Genghis Khan. So, Genghis Khan was one of the greatest conquerors the world has ever seen. Uh, he conquered the largest continuous empire in the world in history, and uh, when Genghis Khan was growing up, he was called Temujin. That was his real name, and when he was growing up, the Mongol, con the, Mong the Mongolian area was not a single nation. They were just a bunch of... Uh, tribes and they were tied together in the loose uh like the loose mongol confederacy so say this is mongolia this is not how mongolia looks but say this is mongolia and so there are many different tribes so say this is like so let's say there's four tribes so each tribe rules this area of land that's right here and then they're loosely tied together in the mongol confederacy so that's what happened so let's just take that out uh so then Temujin grew up, he became the leader of his tribe, and then at age 12, he got married to a person, or, or to a woman, named Borte, so, Bor, Borte, and then Borte was kidnapped by another, uh, tribe, this was quite common back then, uh, actually, T Temujin's own mother was actually kidnapped by Temujin's father. She, Temujin's mo mother was actually first married to someone else, and then, his, and then his father kidnapped his mother, and then they had uh, Genghis Khan, or Temujin. So, he was, the, he was the leader of his tribe, and he proved his military skill when he rescued his wife, and then all the other tribe leaders f uh, uh, felt... Uh, threatened by his military uh, greatness because they thought, wow, he's so good, he saved his wife from everyone else, and they felt really threatened by his military skill, and so they started a civil war. Temujin won this civil war, and he united the Mongol Confederacy and named it the Mongol Empire, making him the uh, empire, emperor, so there was a confederacy, right, say there's the same drawing, the confederacy, this way, and then like this. And then he conquered all of it, and then made it one gigantic Mongol empire under his rule. So, that's what he did. Then, since he was a ruler, he changed his name to Khan, which is what all the rulers were called back then. They were Khans. So, he became Genghis Khan. Uh, and then, so back then, the Mongol confederacy was quite small, but he not only got control of the Mongolian homeland and the Mongol confederacy, but he also expanded it to pretty much all of Asia. So, he went on to conquer most of Asia from Korea to the Caspian Sea. So, um, he was, uh, ra his father died early in his life, and he was raised by his mother, and he killed his stepmother in a fight, uh, because he was angry at them, and then he got arrested, and then he got chained with a yoke, which is what, uh, they, uh, put on, uh, like, bulls and stuff, uh, to, uh, ride them, so they put a yoke on a bull's neck, and then they tie something to the yoke so the bull can pull it. And he uh, escaped from the yoke due to a little help from a Mongol family. And then he went to claim his betrothed bride, Borte. So he had been betrothed to Borte since childhood from the age of 9. And then at age of 12, he uh, married her. And then uh, Temujin allied himself with a powerful tribe leader named Togril. He fought for Togril, so he became like Togril's... Uh, second in command, sort of, but eventually Togril, his ally, he was Togril was Temujin's ally, but grew nervous of Temujin's power and ordered him to be killed. But Temujin thwarted this attempt. He survived. So by the time Temujin was 43 years old, he had defeated his rival Jamuka. So Jamuka was actually his friend, but then they became rivals, and then they kept fighting for more and more territories. This is the civil war going on. And he defeated Jamuka, and then he became the sole ruler of all of the Mongolian steep. So that was at the age of 43. That happened at the age of 43. All of the Mongolian steep. Steep is like a grassland. It's like sort of like a grassland. He was renamed Genghis Khan. Uh, so then he went to conquer all the land from uh, Korea to the Caspian Sea, and his descendants conquered even more. And he made his son Ogadai Khan the his heir. So Genghis Khan died in uh, twelve twenty seven, at the age of sixty five, when he supposedly fell off his horse, and then something happened inside. I think he broke something. 
uh, something important, and he ruptured some important organ. They're not exactly sure what happened, but then he developed a high fever, he got very sick, and then he eventually died. So, a good thing about Genghis Khan's empire is that he was a very modern ruler. He had religious freedom, and also in his empire he had um, something, stuff like passports called Garage. Gar... Garage. Uh, passports, like, called Garage. And he had... Uh, a ya law code called the Yasa, the Yasa, uh, it was basically his law code that all the citizens had to follow, and he was a shamanist, so, um, basically shamanism is a belief in nature, so that's why he did not impose his religion on others, so hence he had religious tolerance, which is a very modern idea, and so he could be called, like, uh, he could be said to be the father of modern uh, government because he invented passports and then he had a, he didn't invent law code but he had a law code and also he had religious freedom which is something that was very rare at the time. So I hope this video was helpful. It's the biggest Anani signing out.